Hello everyone and welcome back to Fuzz and Buzz. Today we are making apple crumble pie. We will be making it with short crust pastry dough, apples of course, and some vanilla custard. This apple crumble pie will not disappoint, so let's get ready to crumble. First of all, you need a brownie pan. And we need to line that with parchment paper. Make sure it sticks out a little bit because you're gonna lift the cake with the paper when it's cooled down. We also need four apples. You need to peel these and take out the seeds. Let me show you. So I usually peel the apples, cut them in quarts and then take out the seeds. I like to use a small food processor like this one to grate the apples. You can of course use a normal cheese grater. Make sure to use the bigger selection. You can of course just cut them in cubes as well. And now let's do the filling. Pour in the grated apples in a frying pan on medium heat. Squeeze in half a lemon. Add half a cup of granulated sugar. For the final ingredients, add half a tablespoon of cinnamon. Now the apples have softened and uh, you have a wonderful smell of cinnamon. Now set this aside. So for the short crust pastry dough, we will be using three and one fourth of a cup of all purpose flour. And we will be adding 4.2 ounces of unsalted softened butter. And then we will add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. Add three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Add two teaspoons of vanilla sugar. And then crack in two eggs. And finally, two pinches of salt. If you're using salted butter, just skip the salt. Now just Work the ingredients with your hands until you have a dough. So when the dough starts looking like this, you're basically done. And we're gonna go to the next step. Here we need to use half the short crust pastry dough. And we're gonna line the pan. Now it's important to make sure that the parchment paper is sticking out on both short sides. Remember, we're gonna lift the cake out when it's cooled down with the parchment paper. Now is also a good time to preheat the oven. Now add one cup of vanilla custard. Spread this out evenly. This will help to make the core of the cake 
really gooey and yummy and still have the crust a little bit crunchy. It's just a really good combination. Add the pre-cooked apples. Remember to divide these evenly over the pie. I usually flatten everything out with a spatula, just to have a flat surface to, well, when adding the other half of the short crust pastry dough on top of it. So here we're just gonna sprinkle it on top and cover the whole pie. So when it's completely covered, we will bake it in the oven for 30 minutes or until it's golden brown. When it has cooled to room temperature, you can use the, the parchment paper, as I told you about earlier, to lift it out. Then just cut it into squares or you can also cut it into bars. Now it's time for the taste test. Here you have the gooey center, a little bit crunchy outside. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Here we go. Oh wow, that's, that's fabulous. Mm -mm -mm. I need another bite. Let's grab some ice cream this time as well. You should really try this recipe and, and let us know in the comments how it went. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Wow!